Alright guys and gals, welcome back to Astroneer with yours truly, the intrepid Mr. Astro Nuts, 25th century pioneer here in outer space, the final frontier, staking his claim and grabbing up all the goodies before someone else comes and takes them all, right? That's what we do on the frontier. In fact, speaking of goodies, I've got a new one right here. Another pearl of wisdom, as I like to call them, these alien artifacts that you find usually growing underneath or on flora although i think i found them on um some under some rocks too oh look at that we can ha habitat <laughs> habitat we can make a habitat as far as i know that's a habitat right there um let's see if we can make it i don't want to make one right now but oh there it is and it, all it takes is compound wow well that's cheap well with the habitat we can actually move to other planets and then settle somewhere else and my guess is we can use it to also expand this base because we're pretty much out of these couplers right here. You get five with your habitat. And once you're out, I don't think you can expand anymore. Like, that doesn't allow expansion as far as I know. No, no, no. Anyway, I'm not going to deal with that right now. We are actually going off on a bit of, of an adventure. I want to go check out that, uh, where is it? That right there, that spaceship, that space shuttle. It's crashing the side of the mountain. And I'm thinking there might be some goodies over there, but... I want to make a solar panel first on the 3D printer. This is a big whopping solar panel, not one of these little rinky-dink things that I have in my backpack here. No sorry, Bob. This is the real deal. Check that out. It's massive. So we can use that to power the base, as long as the sun is up, that is. Or we can use it on the, um, on the rover. Let's put it in the back of the rover. The sun should be rising any second now. That means I can take this little feller back and stick it back in my backpack. Awesome! Alright. Yeah, let's put you over there. I don't need you at the moment. So, yeah, as soon as the sun comes out, that should fold open. And it will provide power to the rover. Again, as long as the sun is shining, that won't be a problem. But let's say the sun isn't shining. What if you're driving around and you get caught in the middle of the night? Or maybe in a sandstorm, or you're in some dark caverns. Well, 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 you're not going to get any power from the sun now, will you? But we can make a generator, a portable generator that we can carry with us for emergency scenarios like that. <laughs> and there it is, a cute little feller. That's awesome. So let's go put that on. Uh, you got to bear with me here, folks. I am under the weather and I'm coughing and um, sneezing and wheezing. And I'm going to try to cut that out. But it might be some strange cuts in the video. <laughs> Anyway, let's put this on Rover here. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's get him away from the base. Excuse me, Tab. Push over. I'm driving. <laughs> Tab's always sitting in my seat, ready to go. Now, check it out. So we don't have solar power right now powering Rover, right? It's just, uh, he's just running off battery power right now. But it's not being replenished because I took the solar panel off. But... If we want to get more power, we can simply by sucking up some of these organics. Pretty much all these plants can be sucked up and turned into organic uh, material that can be then used for fuel. Come on, is that enough? And you'll have almost an endless supply of the stuff. It's everywhere, right? And then we'll take this and stuff it in there. 100% organic fuel source. Check it out. It's processing. That's so great. Oh, and these little nubs disappear as it's being chewed up and it's replacing, replenishing the uh, the power in the battery. But why is it still going, though? Hmm. I guess it wants to devour the whole thing. Once that process starts, it can't stop? That's a little weird. But there's so much organic material around anyway, it's not that big of a deal, right? That's what I like. I mean, it's near endless supply of energy. All right. Well, that's great. Let's park it over here. Let's um, let's put this back on. Solar panel. Because I want the power to be provided by the solar panel. Mainly, unless we need organics. And now, we're going to go over to that... Uh, oh, ow! Crunch. Sorry, Tab. We gotta go over to the the uh, the shuttle. You know what? You can get rid of these things, these rocks, just by dislodging them, and then they disappear. They just despawn. 
Yeah, sooner or later I'm gonna go around and like cut my grass. Cause look at all this stuff. It's a mess. My yard's a mess. But I'm not gonna deal with that right now. Oh, <laughs> let's go check out that shuttle. Maybe we can find some useful items inside that thing. So apparently someone crashed here at some point. They must have left some goodies behind, huh? All right, Rover. It's your chance to shine, my friend. Can you get up this mountain? It is super steep. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. This resin's in the way. Oh, there you go, bud. Kicking in the four-wheel drive. You can do it. I have faith. Got plenty of power. Got our solar panel cranking right now. Awesome. Come on. Come on, Rover. So this is what the Rover's built for, this kind of thing. It's rough riding and exploring. The truck, which we are going to make eventually, seems more like a transport vehicle because it has a lot of space on it. And you can expand it. Uh-oh, we're going down. And... Oh, a cave. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> I fell out. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Get in. Ooh, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Don't want to fall down there. All right, we made it. Kind of a bumpy ride, but we made it. And it looks like we still have a little sun power here. Cool. And now I gotta put some tethers out. Uh-oh. Do I have any tethers? Oh, I do. Hold on a sec. Yeah, my um, my key mapping's got set back to default. This is when I like to do a K key, which is my thumb button on my mouse. All right, there we go. All lit up inside this cave, but I'm not interested in the cave. I want to get up here. And I wanted to get Rover up here because Rover's gonna provide me with oxygen. That's the whole point of taking them all the way up here. But I gotta go the rest of the way on foot, buddy. Yeah, let's put that there. Hey, can I get up there? Just gonna make a gradual stair all the way up. Uh-oh, I'm out of tethers. Let's make another pack. Oh man, I'm right beneath it. So close I can smell it. Oh, there's stuff in there. Looks like some kind of resource. Oh, check it out. Oh, there's a seat and everything. <laughs> oh, wicked. I love that my tethers just stick to every surface. It's great. All right, come on, I gotta get up there. Oh, man. Look at this, there is a seat. Can I take that seat? Oh, I sure can. <laughs> oh, it's just like my seat. Very comfortable. Now. Can I just throw that down? I don't know if items take damage. Let me just drop it right there. Maybe I'll go in the cave. Oh boy, there it goes. Well, I don't need a seat anyway. I already have one. What do we have here? We have lithium, copper, aluminum, and organic material. Anything else? Oh, this is so cool. It's a little shuttle. So I could unearth the entire thing. Let's see if there's any more goodies, but I, I have a feeling... That's probably all of it. Oh no, I'm out of power! Eh, Durant. Alright, I'm just gonna come back slowly right now. I could go get my, uh oh! Could get my portable generator, which is on, um, which is on Rover. But I think we're done here. Although I would like to climb up on top of this thing if I can. Can I get up there? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there's no oxygen up here, so I gotta, we gotta make this quick. <laughs> Oh, look at this, I'm on top. This is great. Oh, so cool. Oh, wow, look at this. Can I get inside the thingy? Yes, the thingy, the thruster thingy. Awesome. Now, getting down is going to hurt. All right, well, that's pretty neat. So, what else can I take? Can I take that thing? No. No, the only stuff that you can take are the items that were in these little slots. I love how the lights are still blinking. All right, I'm gonna take my tethers back because I don't think I'm coming back up here. And now it's time to get back down to Rover. Oop. All right, back down with Rover. Let's go check out this cave. We have a plant here. Hi, plant. Give me your secrets, your secret stuff. Oh, I've never seen this kind before, I don't think. Nice little turquoise color. All right, let's just throw that right off the side of the mountain here. Whee! Oh, my chair's down there. 
And I think I'm going to go back a little bit farther, just have a quick peek. See what's back here. I guess we could just drive Rover, right? Yeah, let's just drive. Although Rover's not going to have any gas. Uh, you know what? Well, it's okay, because look, here's what we can do. Bloop. Yeah, excellent. Push over, tab, I'm driving. <laughs> All right, here we go. Driving on organic fuel, 100%. It's all about being green. It is dark up here, man. Whoa, 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 where are you going? I'm sliding around. Oh, look at that. I've never seen that kind of pod. All right, well, let's throw it over here. Take that out with us. All right, let's get home. I think we have enough gas to make it home. It's not that far. Otherwise, I'd collect some organics. Oh, well, sun's up anyway. Here we go. Down the hill. We made it. Our rover's the best. All right, we're back at base with rover. Let's check out this Pearl of Wisdom. Uh-oh. Sounds like a storm's coming. Oh, yeah, it's coming this way, too. It's, like, directly heading towards us. And I don't have... Do I have a hole around here? I don't think so. Okay, gotta go. I gotta get down to my cave down here. Uh... Research drill head. Oh, a drill head. Oh gosh. Gotta get to my cave. Oxygen in my cave. Oxygen in light. Alright, perfect. Whew! That was close. I like that there's some kind of adversary in the game. I mean, you gotta have some kind of an antagonist. If the weather's gonna be our antagonist, that's fine with me. Whoa! Oh gosh. Ow! Why did I come out of the cave? Oh no, I came out of the- can I get in the pod? Alright, I guess I'm safe inside the, the habitat. Close the door, dummy! I had to kick Tab out. Sorry, Tab. Alright, Tab, we can get back in now. Alright, let's go collect my backpack. So apparently you can just sit in the habitat and be safe. Alright, back for the second pod. Right here, throw it on the back, and it looks like we should hoover up some organics and get some power. There we go. Oh, I love it. I love this little portable generator. So cool. Oops. There we go. Power it up. All right, let's check out this pod. See what's inside. It's a weird looking one. I guess they're all kind of weird looking. Winch! A winch! So we got drill head and a winch. And a habitat today. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Alright, now I just have to go back and get my solar panel. And the extra chair. <laughs> Alright, can I make a two-seater? I know this game has multiplayer. Oh, sure, check it out! Wow! Tab doesn't know where he wants to sit. Front or back tab, pick one side. Awesome. Yeah, I think it has right now up to four player co-op. Oh, I don't want to go that way. Inside a cave. Um, but I know that they had been talking about adding like dedicated servers so people can have their own server and you can pop in and out any time. But right now it's just um, through Steam, peer to peer through Steam. Oh my gosh, I keep hitting that rock. So someone has to be in the game playing, in other words, and then you can connect to him or her. But there's no there's no dedicated server right now. And we are just about out of power. But that's okay. I'm gonna put my seat. I'll just put the seat over here for now. Uh oh. Remember the scenario I told you guys about getting stuck out in the dark without any gas? Yeah. Well, it happened. <laughs> Got no fuel. <laughs> well, that's alright. I can just throw some power in here right now. This power is lying here on the ground. There we go. So there is plenty of power sources around. Whoa! And there's my solar panel. Er oh, Rover, where are you going? Alright, I got everything back. Safe and sound. Whoa! Got the two pods researched. Got my... <laughs> got my rover back. Got tab back. 
And the solar panel, and I said that, right? The seat. Yeah, everything's back now. Yeah, I had to make a lot of trips, so we need to do something about that. I think I'm going to have to make the truck. Now, I wonder if this takes damage. I don't know. It looks fine to me. But what do I know? I don't know anything about cars. Alright, I think with that, my friends, we are going to call it quits. I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!